Hello everyone, we're back again with another story. Can you see the cover of today's book? It's got lots of animals on it. And we're out in the garden too, so you might hear some noises of animals. All right, let's take a look at some of the pictures of the animals. We have a bear, we have a tiger, and this is a funny looking creature. It does look like a snake, but it could be a dinosaur. So today's story is called Mad About Mega Beasts. What's the meaning of the word mega? Mega means large or very big. And the story is by Charles Andrea and it's illustrated by David Wojtowicz. They've got lots of lovely pictures, so let's take a look at the story now. Mad about mega beasts. Look at that animal. You know who that is, that's a penguin. And over here, you see a baby penguin. Some of us live on the land, and some of us live in the sea. Some of us are fierce, and some as gentle as can be. Some of us like grass and leaves and other tasty plants. Some of us eat up whole animals without a second glance. But one thing that describes us all by land or sea or air is we're absolutely mega. So meet us if you dare. Look at all the lovely animals on this page. Here's an animal that no longer exists on earth but used to exist a long time ago. The woolly mammoth. I'm the woolly mammoth. I'm big and fat and hairy, and a hundred thousand years ago, no one was more scary. Look at that. Let's take a look at the next animal now. Oh, the penguins again. Emperor Penguin. We Emperor Penguins have got a great trick, which makes us chaps feel pretty neat. While our wives go out hunting and looking for food, we hatch out our chicks on our feet. How wonderful that is. The emperor penguin dad hatches out the baby penguin from the egg. Can you see the eggs in the picture? Elephant seal. That's a funny looking one. An elephant seal. Can you see its nose? It looks a lot like an elephant actually. Let's see what it says. I've got this weird trunk at the end of my nose, but I just have to like it or lump it. I blow it to frighten my rivals away, a bit like a giant great trumpet. That's the elephant seal. <laughs> giant squid. I've got giant eyeballs, eight arms and a beak. My body weighs almost a ton. Of all of the creatures down here in the deep, I must be the weirdest one. Here's a big creature. It's called a giant manta ray. Can you guess where it lives? Yes, it does. It lives in the water again. A giant manta ray. I glide like a bird through the water with wings that are silent and free. Of all other fish in the ocean, there's not one as graceful as me. A blue whale, look at how big that creature is. I'm the largest living mammal that the planet's ever seen, cruising through the ocean like a giant submarine. Argentinosaurus, that's a big word. Can you try saying it, Argentinosaurus? And it's a big animal as well. It's a dinosaur. Now, do you know that dinosaurs don't exist anymore either? But they used to live on our planet a long time ago. Let's see what we've got about the Argentinosaurus. I'm the largest dinosaur, the Argentinosaurus. I'm as big as 18 elephants. And that is just enormous. Ooh, that's a scary looking creature. It's a python. 
And you see how long it is? It's winding almost through both pages. And that's its head. And that's its tail. Having a hug with a python is something you shouldn't be doing. I'll squish you and squash you, then swallow you whole without even crunching or chewing. That's not something very healthy to do, is it? To swallow something whole without even chewing it. But that's what the python does. Here's a familiar looking face. It's a dog and it's called a Saint Bernard. I am the giant Saint Bernard. No dog is bigger than me. My coat is all fluffy and furry and warm. Why don't you stroke it and see? It looks lovely and fluffy, doesn't it? Can you see the other dogs at the bottom? There are three different types of dogs at the bottom. Oh, there are four actually. Look. Now, let's take a look at this creature. It's called a buffalo. A buffalo's horns are all curvy and long. And we don't like to boast as a rule. But we're also ferocious and handsome and strong. Let's face it, we look pretty cool. Can you see the buffalo's horns? Aren't they lovely and large? Aha, here's the tiger that you saw on the cover of the book. The Siberian tiger. I'm the Siberian tiger, the largest big cat in the land. So don't try to stroke me or tickle or poke me because I'll just bite off your hand. Oh, he's a scary fellow. The brown bear. I am the biggest of all the bears. I weigh just as much as 10 men. But when I feel dozy, I snuggle up cozy and cuddle my cubs in our den. So here's the brown bear. It does look scary. But can you see the cubs in the corner of the page? That's the brown bear with the cubs. And what's the name of the place where the bear lives? It's called a den. So here are all the animals we looked at. Can you try to see which ones you remember? Now, let's take a look at what we've got right at the end of this story. So now you've met the mega beasts, every single one. Some are pretty frightening, but some are rather fun. Some make scary noises, like a bellow or a roar, and others you would cuddle if they came to your front door. Look at all the lovely animals one more time. But all of them are pretty huge. I hope you were impressed. Which one was the scariest? And which one did you like best? That's the end of the story. But try to think about that question right at the end. Which one was the scariest and which one did you like best? Words to learn. Creature. Fierce. Gentle. Glance. Absolutely. Dare. Hatch. Weird. Rivals. Giant. Glide. Graceful. Mammal. Submarine. Enormous. Squish. Crunching. Chewing. Boast. Ferocious. Stroke, cozy, bellow, cuddle, impressed. Questions about the book. Level 1, easy. What does the word mega mean? Count the number of mega beasts we met. Can you remember all their names? Make a list. Which of the mega beasts did you find scary? Which mega beast did you like best? Draw a picture of your favorite animal. Questions about the book. Level
level 2 medium which is the largest living mammal which of the mega beasts had eight arms and a beak what is the emperor penguin's great trick how big was the argentinosaurus can you think of three more mega beasts write their names down reflecting on the book level 3 difficult two of the mega beasts are now sadly extinct which are they what does the word extinct mean find out about five more animals that are now extinct what do we human beings need to do in order to ensure that our mega beasts do not face extinction pick out the adjectives used to describe the mega beasts and their appearances pick out the pairs of rhyming words you noticed some of the mega beasts are described using limericks what is a limerick try to make up a limerick about your favorite animal